The Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation hosted the annual ceremony today in Washington, D.C., honoring the more than 100 million victims who have been killed by communism and the 1.5 billion people who still live and suffer under communist regimes. It was a rainy day in Washington, D.C., but dozens of senior diplomats from embassies around the world, including those of former communist countries such as Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, still joined the event. They laid wreaths in front of the Victims of Communism Memorial, paying tribute to the over 100 million victims of communism around the world. This ceremony reminds us that the millions of men, women and children who continue to lose their rights, their dignity and too often their lives we must remain vigilant and remain committed to a future free from the false hope of communism. According to the Black Book of Communism, in the last century, the number of people killed by the Chinese Communist Party add up to at least 65 million, the highest in the world. And the atrocities are still going on today. From the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre, to forced organ harvesting, to the current Uyghur genocide, the Chinese Communist Party has inflicted atrocity after atrocity upon its people. And in Hong Kong, on the mainland, and increasingly even abroad. The Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation presented this year's Truman Regan Medal of Freedom to Jimmy Lai, a Hong Kong entrepreneur and pro-democracy activist. He was recently sentenced to 14 months in prison due to his activism during the 2019 pro-democracy protests. His friend accepted the award on his behalf. The foundation is currently building a museum in Washington, D.C. Phase one of the project will be complete later this year, with the first exhibition to be titled Remember Us.